In this video, we're going to start and continue on by creating a bar chart with database arrays. And this is a part of the Chart.js uh, MySQL database series. So in here, we are using PHP for now. And we have here a blank sheet. And we have here basically our uh, database. And this is our table here, covering three different data sets with the ID numbers here, which indicate that we have 10 data points for every data set here. And what we would like to do now, of course, is to create an array out of it and put this into a bar chart. First things first, let's create our bar chart first. So I'm going to put in here a uh, script, or basically we don't have to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to get here the chart.js code. I do assume, it as a quick note, I do assume you have this already. If you don't have that, please check video one and two where I have the code ready in the comment section. You can just down, copy it and paste it in there. All right, so now we have this here. I'm going to copy all of this. I want to have this uh, starting point, which is our bar chart. And we're going to put this in here. This will be our nice JavaScript code. All right, and then what we have more is, of course, the chart.js library. If you click on this and click on getting started, put this in here or copy this. And once we copy this, we're going to put an enter, paste this in here, and there we are. So we have this now ready. And eventually here we're going to work with it, but we have to break this down. What I want to do first, I want to break it down, but before I do that, I put a div here. And the reason why I'm putting a div here is just to uh, give this a fixed width and height, or basically a fixed width that I want to set without this part here, this piece of code. We're going to delete all of this here. All right, once we delete this here, I want to make a CSS for here. So I'm going to give this a class name of chart box. So in here, I'm going here up, and I know that this later on, I will just put it in another file just to keep it clean. We can say here style, and then just put in here the chart box class, and in here, with and then 700 pixels should be more than sufficient save that and once we save that here get it here refresh we have now our bar chart so what i'm going to do now is i want to break it down into the standard structure that chart.js 3.4 is currently using more often and i want to make sure that this is always our standard so i'm going to convert this now first to all of the standard layout so we have here our setup block and then after that, we have our uh, config, configuration block or config block. And finally, we have our uh, render block, meaning we're going to render or draw the canvas or the chart. So in the setup block, we will have all of the values here, starting from this point here, the labels, are all here. We cut this out, put it in here. And the reason why this will become important, because PHP, later on, we will be using this as well. In this part, we're going to use the values and put it in there as well. So I'm going to just make sure that this is like that. All right. Uh, let's see. What I want to do here is the following. We'll say here, this is the data. So we say here, constant data equal, and then curly braces. I'm going to cut away that or remove that curly brace and put it down here. This is another curly braces. All right. So that's the first one here. This is our data block which is done now next one is our config block basically in the config block we will get the three parts of the chart basically the type the data and the option so we're going to cut away all of this and then we say here constant config equal curly braces semicolon between here we're going to just paste the code all right so once i have this here, the data can be removed. And the reason why the data can be removed is because this is a variable, if you remember here, bulk. And that's why I'm doing it also in this order, because the setup block must be set first, and then we can read the config block. Why? Because the data is a variable which is referenced to here. Oh, so this is dependent on here, Bob. All right? Very, very important to understand this concept. If you don't know, please check my other videos. I go deeper in there. Finally, here we have the render block. And the render block is just the very straightforward part, which is the constant. And of course, here we get this variable here, or this constant. If you look at it, why, you might wonder, my chart. Canvas ID equals my chart. So this is the ID name. So I'm just giving the same name, the 
ID name equals the concept, so it's easy to follow along. And then we say here new chart, create a new object chart or chart object. And then in here, enter. And between here, all we say is the following document dot get element by ID. And then here, what is the element of ID? Of course, it's my chart. Once you do this, comma, finally config. And once we got that, we can delete everything else here, including this here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that can be removed as well, because we have all the blocks now set up accordingly. Save this, refresh. You can see nothing changes, except that now we have a new structure. All right, so now we've got this. Let's get the PHP in here and grab the item. So what we need to do here is we're going to work with arrays. And when I talk about arrays is these are now our arrays. You can see these columns here. We want to extract the columns and all of these data here must be an array very identical to what we have here. So that would make sense. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to make one array first. This array we will call the revenue array, which is one of the data points here you can see. So let's start and do that one. So in here, all we have to do is the following. We will say here, dollar sign revenue. Then we say equal. Then you say here, new. And if I'm not mistaken here, array. All right. So once we have that, we create a new array here. And then what happens is basically we will loop it through here or we fetch it out. And every time it loops, it will just push a value in here. So oh, I'm using JavaScript terms. Push is maybe not the right term here. It's probably fetch and add it up here in the array. So what is what happens here is we will say this new array, you put in here these brackets, equals, and then here we're going to say dollar sign row, why row, we're going to grab this, well, not only the row, but we're going to get this column, and then we'll loop through all of these rows one by one. So then we say here, in this column, we were looking for the revenue column with double quotations, make sure you use double quotation in PHP revenue column and it will loop through so it will loop through every row in the revenue column and once we have this we can echo out this value so i'm going to echo out and here's a quick note if you will echo out just only this php echo all right this will not work and the reason why it won't work you cannot echo out an array so if we do this and i save this now you will see we get an error go back here save unexpected error because it's an array. An array is forbidden to be echoed out like that. So what we can do here is like a print underscore r and then put it in here parentheses, save this, refresh. Oh, and what am I missing here? Print underscore r. Did I save this properly? Uh, let's double check. What am I missing here? We're probably missing something. All right, sorry. I realize I make a mistake here. I'm very used to JavaScript. We'll create a new array like that. Just do it like this. Remove the new value here. Save this, refresh, there you are. All right, so we print it out. We have to get these values here. Pay attention to the numbers 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, which is correct, 12, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right, now I want to convert this because this is what happens, basically. We get it from a database, but from the database, when we echo it out through PHP, it uses PHP terms. And what we want to do now, we want to convert this into something that's readable for javascript to do this we need to decode it basically or encode it into a json format so what we're going to do is we're going to convert it into a json form which is easier to read for a javascript so let's start and do this because that's what we're going to do now so we're going to remove this here so the next part of course in here is this so we say here we have a new constant and this constant is basically the following or what we can do first is we say this we're going to say your console.log just to make sure that this echoes out accordingly and what we're going to do here we're going to say this here but this here of course will not be possible for php as we couldn't echo out like this or we have to if we can do like this this will not work but what we need to do here is we echo it we need to use echo but we say here encode it into json Oh, encode, sorry, on this, on this core, oh, JSON encode. All right, so this we force into a JSON that's readable for, P, for, for JavaScript as well. So we convert it from PHP to a readable format for JavaScript. Save this, if I refresh here, everything works fine. Open up this, 
you can see here we get an array in the console log and we get all of this all right so now if we have this this will mean we can do now here console and in the console oh, sorry in the constant and here all we do now is we just say this equals that and we say here the revenue the constant will be equal to this once we have this now we have a connection here and if i save this and before i save it i want to put in this here we say now the data equals the revenue here and here we should have more data points because right now we have six data points but remember our revenue had 10 data points so we say here let's say put in some other colors or let's say here abc what do you have no more i think this is number eight because we have now six seven eight all right nine and finally ten. Oh, make sure that these are strings because this is a label the labels have a string value there we are if i save this now and refresh you can see now our database has been well connected we have all of these values here we get now all the data and this is exactly how we can start now really go deeper with php all right next video we're going deeper we're going to connect them all and start to play around with this more thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel